What's up, Beast Bros? I just bought $70 worth of camping gear from Team U, and I'm gonna open it up right now and give you my first impressions, as well as going through it and giving you a full review of everything that's inside. So, check it out. <laughs> All right, first things first, you know how Team U rolls. Their packaging is kind of sketchy. Look at this, man. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna break out my trusty letter opener here. See if it can't, uh, you know what? I'm gonna open this one first. See what's inside. Usually their product is pretty good, but um, the packaging can, uh, leave a little to be desired, so to speak. All right, so what have we got in here? It's a box. All right, okay, this. Oh yeah, this is cool. Okay, it comes with. This is really cool. This, this might be one of my favorite ones of this order. What it is, is it is a solar panel folds up like this and you can just open it up and it gives you four good panels to charge from. Now it has uh, ports, a port on it right here. That's a USB port. So you can see right here, uh, you would be able to plug anything you need into here. The controllers and everything that you need for it are built in. So you can just plug in whatever it is that you wanna charge. I don't believe it has a battery included in it. So it's not gonna store energy. I don't think, I could be wrong about that, but I don't believe it is. I think it just charges from the sun. The sun is a so, um, not sure about that. We'll have to check that out. Uh, I wasn't under the impression that it did. But um, anyway, you could use it to repower a battery bank if you have one, or you could just plug a device directly into it and, and charge it straight from there. So this is really cool. I have uh, another solar charger already, but I got this one uh, because it has more panels on it. I'm thinking maybe it will collect more sunlight and be able to charge something a little faster. At least that's what I'm hoping. It's got these little hooks on it here. It came with two small carabiners. So I suppose you could put those on there and hang it off of something. If you're hiking, you could probably just hang that right off of your backpack and, and use it like that. If you're just sitting around, you could just lay this out on the ground and um, you know plug whatever it is, your phone or whatever, right into it. And it has a little clip right here to where you can clip it and that will keep it closed. And also on this side, it has another clip that you can open up and it has a little pocket right here. So I suppose if you did have like just a portable battery bank, you could uh, put it in here and um, use the panel to charge it, or you could slide your phone in there. It looks like about the size where, where most standard phones would probably fit in there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a solar powered charger, uh, 1978. Pretty cool find there. What else we got? What is this? It's basically just a hand drill. And what you would use this for would be, um, you can find a log or any piece of wood or something, you can use this to drill it down. You can put a longer stick through here to help you get uh, you know, leverage on it if you want. Drills a nice big hole into a piece of wood. And then you can take this end and find smaller sticks and put it on the end, grab another stick or something, and just drive that down and it will taper the end of that stick down to the correct size to fit inside the hole that this just drilled. So that could be that can be really handy if you're bushcrafting out in the wild, just trying to build things. You can affix two pieces of wood together by drilling a hole and then tapering a stick to perfectly fit within that hole. Oh gosh, the possibilities are endless with this. I can tell right away though, it's pretty good quality though. It feels really heavy and sturdy. I mean, the weld looks really good. I don't think this thing is gonna be breaking. 
Uh, it says here it's a 25 millimeter. So I'm assuming that's the inside diameter of the hole here that it's gonna drill. And it also has a little pointed tip on it to help it get started. So you can get that knocked down into a piece of wood and started. And then as this pulls it in, it'll help to draw that big end in and really make some, uh, you know, good, uh, you know, good action into a piece of wood like that. And it is, it is very sharp. I almost cut myself pulling it out. So I'm thinking this thing's probably going to go through some wood pretty good. If you have any suggestions on some things you'd like to see me build with this, leave them in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. This is $9.98. Very inexpensive for a really useful tool. All right, next up. Now, normally when we go camping, we go camping in the wintertime months, so it's not that big of a deal, but we do find ourselves outside getting attacked by flies and mosquitoes quite often. This, poof, is a mosquito hat. <laughs> so, I mean, it looks like, oh wow, this thing looks better than I thought it was going to. It feels like a really good material. It comes in a lot of different colors. I opted for the camo, you know me, beast mode. Um, but it has this netting all the way around it. And you can just put this over your head, put it on. It even has a little chin strap here to hold it in place. And as you can see, it's got a drawstring here, so you can draw it up around your neck. And that's gonna keep any of those flies or mosquitoes from getting on your head. You, and God, I hate that, man. When they come up and start buzzing in your ears and they're like all up in your ears and stuff and they're getting in your eyes and trying to go for your nose. They like those moist areas of your face. So they attack them. This, while it's not gonna keep them off your arms or your legs, you know, hey, at least it keeps them off of your face and from, from buzzing your ears, right? <laughs> So anyway, I just had, I saw that on TV. I go browsing and I just had to have it. $4.88. And it actually seems like a pretty good hat. We'll, we'll have to see over time how the netting holds up, but the hat itself seems pretty sturdy, pretty good material. And it has netting on the side too to let it breathe so your head won't get so hot. And also it's made with the little hoop design so that you can, so that you can, uh, Fold it, kind of like our tent fold up. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it in the bag just to keep it from getting uh, messed up. Oh, and the brim, and also the brim on that thing is also gonna serve really well as a sunshade. In the hotter times when you're gonna have the mosquitoes and problems, it's not only gonna protect your face from mosquitoes and um, and flies, but it's also gonna protect your face and your eyes from the harmful rays of the sun. Okay, this is one of those hiking finds that I got because I found myself on the trail without one and I realized I needed one. Now I guess for hiking, this probably isn't the best one to get, but I'm not that concerned about it because it does have a little bit of weight to it. But what this is, is a just a simple trial. You know, it's sort of like a multifunction trial. It has uh, a little ruler here in case you need to measure anything. This could act as a flathead screwdriver right here. It has a uh, thing here that could be used to tighten uh, certain size bolts. Uh, this little thing right here, that's an interesting little thing. I suppose you could use that to shave off a uh, kindling if you're going for a fire starter. It does have a little serrated edge here. Here's a bottle opener, a can opener right here. And of course you got, uh, you can pull nails with this and all kind of thing. Another reason why I liked it is it comes with this paracord as the handle. And I don't care what you're doing, paracord is something that you should just should always have on you at all times. So the main purpose of this is the latrine. When nature calls and you know, when you're hiking, pretty much the only thing you can do is dig a hole. Uh, the last time I was out, I ended up having to use a stick. That was not the greatest. So um, I went ahead and picked this thing up just so that I would have something. Um, like I said, uh, now that I'm holding it, I think it might be a little heavy for backpacking, 
but um, maybe I can just pare down something else to make up for it. It's pretty cheap and it comes with uh, you know a lot of different tools on it. So maybe I can actually get rid of some other tools because I have them on here. And like I say, having that paracord available is a good survival item should you find yourself in a bad situation. Always good to have that. And if you forgot it, well, there it is built into, into this. $7.64. Very nice. Oh, okay, you know what? This just fell out. <clears throat> this, oh, okay. There's actually more than one of them. I thought it was just gonna be one. Okay, so these, looks like one, two, three, four, came with five of them. These are little can openers. I used to have one of these when I was a teenager, a little Army, Navy issued can opener. And uh, not too long ago, I found myself in a position where I had a can that I wanted to eat and I didn't have anything to open it with. So I went and got this knife and I'm sitting here with a can putting it down in the top and trying to hold it and hit it and trying to get the thing open. Well, I, I was fearing for my life when I was doing that. I was just sure before I got through that thing, I was gonna end up losing a finger or, or slitting my wrists or something with that thing. So it was kind of bad. I figured I need something. So these little things are so small. They have a little uh, hole on them there so you can put them on your key ring, have them with you all the time. Um, and you can use them also to, you know, cut cords or if you need to cut up anything you can cut with them but it has this little this little indention in it to where that will fit right on the rim of a of most cans that you can have like with a food can and you just slide that right on the rim and then you can use this part and just rock it forward and just go around the rim with it and it'll just cut the lid right off of your can and uh, you can get to it without having to lose a limb so these are pretty nice. Um, $3.98, and like I said, I didn't realize it, but it came with five of them. So I'll probably stash one of these in my backpack just to make sure it's always there. And I'll probably put one on my key ring too. You never know. It's good to have things like that when you need them. And you don't know you're gonna need it till you need it. And there you have it. All right, next thing I got, oh, okay, so these, I've actually bought these before and uh, done a review on them, so I'm not gonna <clears throat> touch on them too much, but just to show you what I got, um, the last ones I bought, uh, my son liked them so much, he wanted some for his boat, and they're basically just dry bags. This is a five liter dry bag. And they're made out of this really nice, it's like a plastic material or something. Almost feels like rubber. It kind of feels like what you would think a dolphin or a porpoise would feel like. It's kind of weird. So very cool bags to have. I mean, lots of space in here. This is a five liter. This is the same thing, but a 15 liter. And as you can see, you got plenty of space. You can just pop whatever you need in here like this, roll it down a couple of times. And then this folds around and clips like this and it keeps everything dry. You could, you could drop this overboard and uh, it would just float and stay dry and uh, keep everything inside dry. It also came with these little clips. You can put them on the top like this. And there's another clip here so you could, hang, you could use it to hold it this way. These also have a clip on the side too. So if you prefer, you could clip it down like that and hold it this way. These could also be doubled as uh, water storage. If you needed to carry water a long distance or something like that, then you could fill these things up with water and uh, they will hold water. Like I said, they're dry bags. They're meant to keep it out. They can keep it in also. So there's your five liter. I also got this 15 liter here also. <coughs> And it's basically the same thing, just much bigger. Ooh, a lot bigger. Look at the size of that bad boy. Yeah, so you'll be able to put lots of stuff in here. The five liter dry bag is $8.18. The 15 liter one was $10.58. So a uh, really good price. Those things are good to have no matter what you do. These will go to Nick. Merry Christmas, Nick. 
All right, I got another package here. All right, let's open this one and see what we got here. You know, for, um, for as bad as the packaging is, it, it's actually really sturdy plastic, though. All right. Here we go. What is this? Holy moly. I got a bonus. You know what happened? They had an error when they were shipping this to me. And look at this. Two more bags, openers. There's the, the drill. There's the hat. There's the trial. And there is the solar panels. They sent me the order twice. And they gave me a $5 credit because somehow the order got lost and they resent it and it took way longer than it was supposed to. Typically a team you order comes in two weeks. It took them almost three weeks to get this to me. So I guess at some point they thought it was lost and they sent another one. I thought they had uh, doubled up on the, or they needed more than one bag to put it in, but there you go. So I'll tell you what, we'll be doing some giveaways here. Head on over and sign up for our Beast Burn giveaway. I'll attach a link in the, comments down here and um, we'll also be uh, probably giving this away at some point too so stick around and keep your eyes open for those those giveaways all right guys well thanks for watching if you like this sort of content be sure and give it a like and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and be sure and check out those playlists while you're at it until next time see you next week later